Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another special edition of Free News. Now your updates on the hour this afternoon leading into Election Day. I'm Stephanie Haney here with Lena Lai. Lena, thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. And Lena, you are covering current Cleveland City Council member Kevin Kelly's campaign, really hoping that he's the one who is named mayor at the end of all this today. Either way, <laughs> going to be a big change for the city of Cleveland. What are we seeing from Kelly's campaign here in the final push? Yeah, well, he's definitely working the phones, uh, spending a couple of hours this morning working the phone banks from his headquarters, trying to pull support from his weaker side, the Cleveland's east side, and hoping to draw support from uh, city council members who have already endorsed him, uh, Blaine Griffin and Bashir Jones, to help him with his weakness on the east side, because he's very strong on the west side. Um, having represented the old Brooklyn neighborhood of Cleveland since 2005, and also serving as a uh, city council president since uh, 2014. So, you know, he's been council president for eight years, and I think he's trying to characterize himself as the elder statesman in the election because Justin Bibb is very much a political novice. Um, that being said, Kelly is, is trying to emphasize that he plans on making changes uh, if he's elected mayor from day one, that he's not just a continuation of the Frank Jackson administration. Frank Jackson, by the way, did endorse Kelly. And that's a that's a kind of a tough needle to thread there, trying to char characterize himself as the man with the experience, but also saying, yes, we are ready for some change. Are there any prominent themes, any prominent aspects that he is promising that change on that we've seen so far in his campaign? You know, he vows to do a wholesale city hall audit to take a look at all the city services and see how effectively they're helping the public. Um, but, you, but you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, what he's hoping to do is to separate himself, even though, you know, he's appreciative of, the, of Frank Jackson's endorsement, he wants to separate himself uh, from that, uh, from the present administration and, and, you know, advocating for change. And I think the dividing line for this mayoral race between these two candidates is issue 24, which is that, uh, you know, city uh, charter amendment that would completely overhaul the, the oversight structure of the Cleveland Police Department. Bib firmly endorses it. Kelly is strongly opposed to it in the sense that you know, he says that issue 24 and, and, and the intent of police reform is well intended, but he, he almost feels like it's throwing the baby out with the bathwater, that, that we're putting the hands of the oversight for police accountability into the hands of a police review commission and this it's citizens review board, which is an unelected body. Um, so he has problems with that. Um, you know, he just doesn't feel like um, this citizens review board, which would be appointed by the mayor and council, um, is not an elected body, and, and he feels that's a, a dangerous precedent to set, mm. and he feels that this board would just make uh, police accountability more cumbersome and inefficient. Okay, issue 24, definitely a big topic mm. for people on the ballot today. That's something we'll be talking about with Marissa Sines and our four o'clock clock update. Lena, I know we will be seeing you at Kevin Kelly's campaign headquarters later in the evening. What time are you heading down there? You know, we'll be doing live uh, reports from starting at five um, on channel three and five, six, and seven. Um, his, his headquarters will be at the Harp, which is a, a good old Irish pub, you know, on, on West 25th street, because, you know, he's, uh, you know, a nod to his own high Irish heritage. Um, so we'll, his party gets started at about eight o'clock. But we'll be touching base throughout the afternoon with his campaign and bringing the latest starting up. Okay. Well, Lena, we look forward to your updates throughout the day. We know Kevin Kelly's campaign hoping to have a party at the Harp. We will see what <laughs> happens when this is all said and done. Lena, thanks for your time. You bet. And we'll be back at 3 p.m. with an update from our Amani Abraham about the school issues that you'll see on the ballots today. Thanks, everybody, for being here for this special edition of 3 News Now election updates.